Good morning, guys. The Captain's Log. Travis Gillern's my guest today, and this is an interesting gentleman. He started a brand called C Note Vodka, uh, which is pretty cool. First of all, I had a brand, and I didn't do a custom bottle and everything else like you did, so you really went off on this. And now I'm finding out it wasn't such an easy journey. It wasn't just like you creating a brand. You had uh, the biggest of the biggest competition in the world coming yeah. after you with this. Yeah. So tell me, I, I had no idea. You tell me about the about how the brand came up and how you come up with the concept. I know you're an entrepreneur. You've done a bunch of stuff. You buy, you sell, you trade. But tell me, you came one day. You just said, "Oh, someone needs a hundred proof vodka." So about five years ago, when they had the money cologne on Shark Tank. Um, I remember that. I really liked the idea, but I thought uh, that money smell is ink. And not everybody wants to smell like ink because it's actually a toxic chemical. So I thought it would be a lot cooler if you could drink it. So then we th started working on, uh, well, it needs to be a liquor. What's the most popular liquor? Vodka. So that's what we got. We start. Then I started to create the brand. Um, and about two days later, I had seen a coffee table at a New York art show that lit up. And that's when I knew the bottle had to light up. So we started working with a factory in China to make the bottle light up, which originally they said they couldn't do and it was too hard and da da da. So we just kept pushing about five years in the making. I mean, the, the amount of money and time it takes to first of all, not the, the brand is a different story, mm -hmm. but I've created products and mm -hmm. I've been out to China and everyone's like, oh, just have it made in China, right? Yeah, yeah. It's so cheap in China, yeah, right? Everyone yeah. will tell you that? Nah. That's a bunch of BS. Nah, so how did you, be, how were you able to fund that part of it as a startup? Um, just, you know, I had a, I had a deli, I had a couple of different businesses. We liquidated, um, I buy and sell a lot of equipment. Um, so you were all in. You're like, yeah. I got this vodka brand. I'm going to yeah. take it to the next level. I'm going to be the next Jay-Z. <laughs> Is that your thoughts? Uh, yeah, I mean, when I originally started, we had talked about, um, you know, just trying to get it out locally and stuff like that. But then it really started to, you know, take on steam and, and we had interest from all over the world. So we really started pushing and kind of refiguring the program. I had a lot of good people helping me. Um, you know, just started working on it. You know, one of the biggest hurdles was the $100 bill because it's very, very heavily trademarked. Right. And um, Secret Service and um, ATF uh, and instantly was like, no, absolutely not. Um, but Because I actually, of the mix with the alcohol, right? Because the alcohol. Wow, I didn't and, think of that. Yeah, so I knew there was a way around it. Um, actually researched their, their trademark law and on their own website, I found that um, basically one and a half times the bill size and on a black base voids their $100 bill trademark. So then that's where we got our international trademark on the altered $100 bill. So it kind of took a little bit to figure out. Let's see were, the bottle. Let's see the bottle. And that's actually the, the 175. That's the 175. So yeah. if you're in the club and you want a ball, you got to get the. Yeah, there's actually a bigger one. There's a three liter Magnum bottle that's coming out too. You push the button on the bottom and it lights up. It flashes, it has three different speeds. And we also have um, all 50 cities. So this is the Florida bottle, it has the Miami skyline. But wow. we have we have all 50 cities because we're releasing in all 50 cities. Really? Yes, sir. So when's the release date? Right now we're out, we're in stores right now. We're actually sold out in most stores right now. We're have, that's kind of the problem right now is we can't bottle it fast enough. Um, we're that's exactly on... the problem I had honestly yeah. with mine. Not that it was selling off the shelves, but every time I needed to put in an order, there was such a lead time yes. to create it, right? Yeah, China's now... the problem mostly, the bottle. We, can, we, have, we make the vodka here, we have plenty of, we can make as much vodka as we want here. The problem is the bottle in China. Yeah. You know, dealing with the different factories because we're kind of small on their factory line. Right. I mean, you've got yeah, people they're like making... Pace Picante sauce with 10 million bottles. So for us, it's, you know, and, and also they, you got other issues where they'll, they'll do you a sample and then you don't get what, exactly... in mass production, you don't uh, get what you got in the sample. That's the we worst. run into that and by the time it gets here, um, you can go back, but it's, there's different time zones. They don't We had a brief like... conversation about that the last time. Mm -hmm. I, I ordered, I was doing iPad cases and mounts, right? And, mm -hmm. The same thing. You see, you get the factory, you get the samples. Okay, you put in your order for 5,000, 10,000 units. You get the first 400 and it's like, this is nothing what I ordered. Nothing what I ordered. So I just got on a plane and I was there like 36 hours. I flew right there, the ch right showed up in the factory and they're like, what? Wait, you're here? I'm like, yeah, you said we we're running, to the, the product's running today, right? Yeah. Let's see it on the assembly line. I want to get this yep. done. Let's do it. Yeah. And they were like freaking out, trying to retool. Like retool. they were making direct TV boxes. Yeah. They weren't making my product, yeah. even though I paid them to be on the factory line that day, right? Yeah. 
So you're going through this all day and all we're night. We're still going through it. We've we've explored other factories all over the world, but we're gonna stick with the China factory because the price. Right. I mean, the you can't beat it anywhere else. I mean, all the other estimates we've had. And, and plus, you've paid for the tooling. The you've tooling. invested the time. Once they get yeah. you on the tooling, yeah. you're effed. Yeah. Like there's nothing, yeah. nothing they want more the is, mold, the, yeah. is to get the mold done. Yeah. The mold can be as much as eighty thousand a piece. Right. Maybe multiple ones. So now I'm looking at your product. How does that work with the different states? Is that just uh, like the labels are different, but the bottles the same. It's obviously. screen printed bottles, and then like the one screen of the, printed. Yeah, one of the most intricate bottles they've had, so it's screen printed, and then through different SKUs. But you'll be able to buy it. Like you'll be able. To, right now, there's a new app that we've come out with where you can be able to order it to your door. So you can order if your brother lives in California or Los Angeles, you can order him a Los Angeles bottle and have it sent to his house in New York. Nice. You see what I'm saying? So yeah. it can be sent to their door. It just depends on the areas, and we're still trying to figure that out where. Um, where, because obviously in Vegas there'll be different ones sold, the different right. bottles, you know, different popularity. And stuff Where's like your that. big market right now? What's your South Florida? We're in South Florida right now. I mean, our distribution is that we just signed with a new distributor in Miami, and uh, we're in 600 new stores. And that's a whole and, other headache. The distribution. You know, yeah, yeah. Want store by store by store and corporate stores and. A lot of corporate stores don't really want to take on a new brand, but then they see our bottle and they make an exception, and then it sells out, and then they kind of don't know really what to think about that because we have shelf, we're getting shelf space with other major, major brand labels. Yeah, you know, eye level shelf space. Speaking of major brand labels, mm -hmm. so. You came out with the C Note vodka, and instantly, is it before? What was it when you applied for the trademark, or when you actually uh, it, broke in the, the opposition product? opposition period. In the opposition period, right towards the end of the opposition period, everybody came out of the woodwork. A lot of people came out of the woodwork, but we had a major, a major vodka label that instantly, uh, basically, took us to court, and we went through litigation with them for a long period, and, and it kind of hung in the balance for a little bit because we weren't sure what was going to happen because they're a major, a major, major label, um, $6 billion in revenue. So they actually sent lawyers over here to actually try and, uh, they you know, just figured us. probably look the small company starting up. If we yeah. just keep taking them to court, they're just never going to get this thing on the shelf because it's costing them too much money. Yeah. Well, they, which they, is a smart move on they their part. Buyout. They offered a buyout at first and I'm, wasn't really ready to sell. I'm not interested in selling. They offered, you know, a life changing buyout for me, but I didn't want to take it. And um, what so, was your theory behind that? Because I, you know, um, I've bought, sold, and you know, the, I've had the, some winners and some losers. My theory behind that was George Clooney's sale of of uh, the Dos Amigos tequila. I think okay. it's called. He sold for a billion dollars. Yeah, seven hundred fifty million and two hundred fifty million in stock options, and that kind of just kept resonating in my mind. And I thought, well, if they'll if they'll pay what they're offering now, that what will they pay for it when it's you know distributed yeah. nationwide and worldwide? What about so, going through your head saying, well, if it doesn't hit, then I just lost all that money because uh, I've had that fight. You know, yeah, we're both entrepreneurs. We've yeah. done a lot of businesses, and I never had that thought in my head. Until I did have a loser. Yeah. You know, so you got to have a couple of losers before you really had, know what the winners are. I've had plenty of losers. But I mean, you were I good. Had, you were like, yeah, I'm yeah. seeing this through and I'm going to make it happen. Yeah, and I have multiple other brands. This isn't really the only concept I have. Behind yeah. We, I have multiple. What takes so long is the brand development. I mean, this is almost five years. But brands have, in the in the alcohol? In the alcohol business. Oh, I have other do. brand concepts right behind it that I'm working on now. Right. That'll come out next year. Different. I have a tequila and, a, and another whiskey style brand also. That's great. So, uh, you know, to me, it, I don't really, I don't really gauge it if it doesn't work. I mean, because just, I know you, it'll you work. You got a lot yeah. of experience yeah. as we well, have, though, along the way. Yeah, yeah, and we yeah. have, we have a lot. Of, you know, I have a lot of, a lot of celebrities and a lot of actually big, big liquor companies that have contacted me. You know, we had Diageo. We've been on with Diageo, which is owner of Ciroc. And yeah, I hosted Oil. a party, private party for yeah. them. Yeah, and time. we've had made, you know, main executives at Diageo interested. You know, they're tr they actually talk to my lawyer and they help. They help with the brand development. So I mean, if it's if it's interesting to them, then I know it. It must be some some sort of interesting. Yeah. <laughs> you know, they they like the concept because American hundred dollar bill works anywhere in the world, and that was kind of what what I chose. Everybody loves the American hundred. Right. So. <laughs> so, then you came up with the hundred proof, mm -hmm. right? Which is that's double almost, right? Or more oh, than double. eighty. Well, average is oh, 80. 80, 80, yeah. And the, and the and the thought behind that was um, when we came out, there's almost two hundred new vodka. 80 proofs a month and enter the market worldwide um, through Southern Glacier, through Breakthrough, through all those people. So when I we said, well, what about the 100 proof? Well, there's nobody really in the 100 proof market. So ideally, I was 
okay, let's try that. So we it, set out to be one of the smoothest hundred proofs. And there's a lot of benefits and a lot, a lot of clubs and bars don't like it because it's a little bit stronger. But if there's a, there's benefits on both sides. Um, as a consumer, if you can drink less drinks, you know, you can drink a couple, you know, one or two less drinks and to feel the effects of, of the yeah. alcohol. But as a bar owner, um, you know, on your ounce and a quarter pour, you can drop it down to three quarters or an ounce pour. You get almost eight more drinks a bottle. So, oh, all right. You see, so there's, there's yeah, benefits absolutely. on both sides. Plus, we started out as an 80 proof, and a lot of people said, "How are you going to be an 80 proof when you're a hundred dollar bill?" And we have keep it 100. I have a trademark on the phrase "keep it 100." So how are you going to be? You know, keep it 100 is a slang for you know, keep it real, keep it interesting. Keep right. It. So how are you going to be 80 proof when your slogan is "keep it 100"? So that's kind of, and we've drifted back and forth whether to take it back down to 80. But we're because a lot of it's it's hundred proof. I mean, don't get it twisted. It's <laughs> it's strong. But it's strong, but right? no, that's kind of where we want to be. Yeah, okay. I, no, I think hundred proof all day. Mm -hmm. I would go all day hundred proof. Mm -hmm. I love the whole way it ties in. Mm -hmm. I love the way that like I didn't know you had the trademark on that. Uh -huh. That's a whole. That's another pain. We have in the a whole ass. other merchandising trademark. That's a whole pain in the butt. Yeah, because we've had other, we've had. Um, production companies, uh, I mean, all kinds of stuff. Ask me, you know, for licensing for the Keep It 100. They want to use it for a TV show, yeah. for a podcast. I mean, a couple different things. So, you know, but we've kept that separate. And I actually kept that separate in the merchandising. So if we do sell out on the vodka label, we can keep the merchandising side, uh, Keep It 100. Um, you can keep it separate. That makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. It really does. And I, and I'm, I'm so shocked that you've continued to like be able to fund all these things, yeah, which it's hard. I mean, yeah. there's nothing easy about waking up every day and not collecting a paycheck. No, you got to make your own yeah. check. That's, I mean, that's yeah. how entrepreneurs live. Mm -hmm. So, so what, um, what's the future plans right now? Coming out soon is what? Uh, we've got we've got multiple different. But see, here's the thing: there's so much. There's approvals. There's there's things that need to go through. Um, so I'm working on things now that you'll see next year because I worked on this two years ago and now you're seeing it. Yeah. Uh, we have a white bottle. Uh, we have a chrome bottle. We have a gold bottle. We have flavors. Um, there's a bunch of. I have a couple of different designs for some some bottles I won't release, but they're kind of a new concept that you uh -huh. won't see in liquor yet, uh -huh. you know, so, you know. So how, how do you get the, around, I thought the black with the $100 bill was your thing, how does Well, it... now that we have, an, we have an international trademark in all the countries, so now I can deviate from that with, okay. with trade dress, which is an update to the trademark, where they can't really, we've already got the base trademark established, Yeah. so as long as we, as long as we stay within those parameters, we're in good shape. That's pretty awesome, man. Well, I, I am, uh, I'm thrilled. I'm ready to take a couple shots and knock it down, but we can't drive it. We can't drink and drive here on the Captain's Log, but we are going to talk about a lot of drinking. And Travis, uh, uh, it's been a pleasure. Listen, we're going to start pouring at the club. We'll have a good time. And um, keep me in touch on the next brand. Let's do it. I will. I appreciate it. Thanks for it. your time. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah. Bye, guys. It's the Captain's Log. Tune in, share, like, say hi, and DM us if you have questions. If you want to uh, drink 100 proof with us, Let's we're do at Total it. Wine, we're at ABC, we're at a Friendly Frankie's in the Cape, a variety of stores, small stores in Cape, Fort Myers. So That's great. That's great. So go get you some C-Note vodka and drink up, people. <laughs> we're live. I'm going to be live tomorrow morning riding with the captain, 8 a.m. Meet me at Off the Hook Comedy Club if you want to get on your bike, take a little spin with me. Later. <laughs>